And more setbacks on the day of the Stoneman Douglas massacre, where 17 students were killed. Coral Springs first responders now say BSO kept them from going into the school to help the victims. Our Bob Norman investigates. We know when bullets rang out at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Several Broward Sheriff's deputies did not go into the building. In fact, the first radio transmission from BSO Commander Jan Jordan was to set up a perimeter. I know there's a lot going on. Do we have the perimeter set up right now? Now, newly released police records show that Jordan also delayed Coral Springs paramedics from entering the school for several minutes. This is completely disorganized. They don't know what the, the left hand and what the right hand is doing. Coral Springs Deputy Fire Chief Michael McNally reported that BSO didn't set up a unified command structure outside the school and that he requested that paramedics be allowed into the building to treat the wounded, only to be told by Jordan that she, quote, had to check. He said he asked six times over several minutes, only to get the same answer. Attorney Alex Ariaza represents shooting victim Anthony Borges, who survived being shot five times. The one person that's supposed to be giving people answers in the moment is saying, wait, let me get back to you. McNally wrote that even after deputies confirmed the shooter had left the building, Captain Jordan still wouldn't let the Coral Springs medics inside. You can't play bureaucracy in this one. Okay, people are getting hurt and they have to act in the moment and they're supposed to be trained for that moment. And, you know, they wait years for something like this to happen and they were not ready. FDLE is investigating BSO's response to the shooting right now, but no word on when that investigation might be completed. In Parkland, I'm Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Okay, Bob, thanks a lot. BSO issued a response saying that medics are sent in only after it has been confirmed that the threat is mitigated, adding that a more accurate portrayal of what exactly occurred that day will be provided after the FDLE investigation.